Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel, Evolve with Monette. I am so happy to have you joining me here tonight. I am a professional intuitive empath for those of you that are new and we are going to get right into the message at hand. I am going to be walking us through understanding our lessons of the Akashic Record. And so for that, we are going to be pulling a card from the Akashic Record deck and see what's coming up for you. For those of you that are unfamiliar with what the Akashic Record is about, Akasha literally just means the ethers. And I believe it is a Sanskrit word originating from the Sanskrit. And what I have done is I have created a starter Akashic Records 101 video for you it's a black screen but go check that out um there's a bit of a lesson in there as well as a bit of a message message i believe in always having messages so we're gonna get started today and today we're gonna be pulling for the akashic records of uh, excuse me uh, seltzer i'm always drinking it y'all we're gonna be pulling for the akashic records of leo so let's see what's coming up for you. The Akashic Records essentially just means the book of life. It's it's something that's pretty universal in all religions that there is this idea that all of the information, all of the stories, and all of the energies that we need to understand are held within a place so that we access them when we're ready to move to the next level in our lives. So that's the energy of the Akashic Records. So for Leo, what comes out here today is... will wisdom and mind okay will wisdom and mind so let's take a look and see i'll be reading it out of the book and then clarifying it and explaining to you what will wisdom and mind mean angel show me what i need to let leo know with will wisdom and mind it's number 20 and it's evading me, Leo. Let's see here. Huh. Where is this? Hmm. Very interesting. Are we going to teach about this today? <laughs> okay, here we guys go. I'm so sorry about that. How interesting that it hid. So, I pulled it upright, so I shall read it upright for you. The gold crown of power and authority rests above a, a Celtic trinity knot. On either side of the Celtic knot are the alchemical symbols for fire and water. How apropos, Leo, we are fire indeed. Uh, below is the ancient three-legged symbol of the coat of arms from the Isle of Man. This card brings with it a time of enormous power balance and expression the first three rays or the energies of the divine move with you equally leo power and will love and wisdom and intellect or mind you're working intimately even if you're not conscious of it with the ascended masters who are linked to these energies with the participation of the masters you can raise your focus to a higher purpose and power you can combine the fire of creativity with the water of receptivity in order to make your contribution to the world with the gold crown raised high don't we love a crown leo i fluffed my hair even because i know i was reading for my leo collective but i know how we enjoy our mane but um i did a live earlier and i was looking back at it and i was like girl <laughs> where was the maid but um don't we love a crown so what they're saying here is that um, with the gold crown raised high, amen, you are likely to find yourself in a significant position of authority and influence at this time. It is likely to be a phase of great activity, but you can handle it, Leo. Can we handle it? Will and power and energy. I am. We actually create Leo. That is, I am a Leo son. So I, this is my reading too right here. So what they're saying is that you can handle it. With these powers in play, you're able to discipline yourself to bring together the meditation, creativity, rest, and action required. Take advantage of this time and use these powers well. They're nothing less than the divine forces moving through you so that you can manifest power in the world. That is Leo all day. Wow. The Akashic Force messages, the power, heart, and mind of God dwell within you, my beautiful Leos. Close your eyes and feel these divine forces at work and at play in your life. 
your energy grows, your heart overflows with love, and your mind as is as boundless as the sky. Feel yourself expand into limitlessness. Ah, maybe for some of you guys, you should watch that movie Limitless, which also talks about the detriment of maybe being too much in power, too much in ego. I definitely understand that. There are a couple of key things that stood out to me here regarding rest. And I feel like it's so funny as I'm making this video late night after a very long day of clients all day and a live earlier today and a few videos that I got recorded and family matters and sister-in-laws and, 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 and letters of recommendation. It's just been a day. And Leo, a lot of your days are like that. We have a tendency to burn the candle at both ends. And so what I'm hearing here is that it's going to be important to rest, do as I say, and as I do. I've actually been getting a lot of really beautiful sleep and created rituals around that. I feel like this is part of your message here for you Leos watching. It's going to be important for you to create rituals around your sleep. When I am done here, I'm going to take a shower, I'm going to take a melatonin, I'm going to decompress, I'm going to not watch any TV. I don't really really usually but no YouTube either or anything like that and I'm going to listen to some meditations and manifestations and I also have an app on my phone called calm I feel like I'm supposed to tell you guys this so I listen to people read me bedtime stories like Idris Elba Bosti okay yes Idris Elba and um Matthew McConaughey and other magical people that I'm interested in check it out uh in any case what I will tell you is uh create rituals I decided to treat myself like a princess around rest because I was not doing that and with all the work that I do all day I need to recuperate that is an important message for you I'm going to clarify your beautiful card here let me pull some colorful cards guys you know what's so funny my intention was to only pull one card but I guess it's because we're Leos I just want to like love on you so we'll see if I don't do this in other videos or, or go back and do it again so the energy here is deserving that's the energy yellow this is Leo energy all day this is sunshine this is expansion this is expression this is about standing in your power this is about knowing your worth leo is i am that's our mantra so they're saying that you are deserving of positive energy and your akashic record lesson is to come into your power the song that i'm channeling as well is you can see me in a crown you're gonna see me in a crown that's billy eilish but not listen if you guys have arachnophobia uh maybe don't watch that but if you do have arachnophobia and still want to hear the song you can look for a musical selection I'll try to find it and link it below but also there's an animated one which I love now the thing about the animated you can see me in the crown it is absolutely about ego that big spider that arachnophobe turns into a massive ego it's like massive attack on ego and literally it's like King Kong destroying the city the ego and that's a cautionary tale however there's something about leos that embody you're gonna see me in a crown we mean when when we say that it is meant it is meant that we'll work our ass off for it we'll stay up late night we will grind it's a drake houston Atlanta, vegas 4 a.m in houston kind of energy we grind he's a scorpio but there's some there's uh, scorpios and leos have a lot of energy with power we're talking about Hillary and Bill Clinton. Hillary was a Scorpio. Bill was a Leo. Ultimate power couple. Whether they loved each other or not, never mattered. They were supposed to do whatever they did. No matter what you feel about what they did. Absolute power combusting together to climb to absolute power. Now, Leo, I want to scale it back because when we get into that will and that ego, though it will be needed this year because some of you guys are stepping up and stepping into your calling. Some of you are stepping into your North Node. For me particularly, my North Node is in Leo. It would behoove you, my loves, to go do a Cafe Astrology natal chart on yourself and see where your North Node lies so you can see what your lessons are going to be. But literally, for my north node it's about stepping into power as an individual stepping away from the group stepping away from friends stepping away from everybody asking nobody's opinion and stepping out on faith and that is the same lesson for any leo whether your north node is there or not that you will have to embody in this lifetime they're going to see you in a crown but that doesn't mean that someone just places the crown on your head leo it means you work for that shit you work your butt off and that's what people don't know a lot of leos get flack every reader that does terrible tell you leos get the most jealous hate black 
magic, white magic energy work gets done on Leo energy because people don't understand how we manifest what seems so effortlessly, but what they don't see is this late night grind. They don't see us working and turning things over and moving things along expeditiously. What they see is the shine. Amen. They see the glimmer from the crown. They see the glint of the stones. They see the light reflecting. We are meant to stand in our power. So no matter what you have to be deflecting, which is usually hate, my sweet Leos, you cannot escape your fate, my sweet Leos, because it's chasing you down and it's grabbing you by your nape, my sweet Leos, by the back of your neck. It's a lion. It's a mama lion coming to get you the energy. It's not doing it to hurt you, but it picks it up viciously because it is protective over its territory. Come on, Leo. This is a download from your angels to you. They want you to understand to protect your babies, whatever they are, your baby, your business, your love, your relationship ferociously, but also grow and live in a spirit of being patient. They want you to to move patiently because to inherit the kingdom and for them to see you in a crown that means that there will be moments when they don't see when you are down and they don't know what you've been through and they don't know what you had to do and they don't know how hard you worked and they don't know the hate you shirked in order to be crowned Heavy as the head, my Leos. But this year, your Akashic Record lesson is to embody a body, a shoulder, a, a, a fullness of self that can bear the weight of something so heavy. I'm going to pull an animal totem for you because I love you. Oh my God. Two came out. That's what I'm talking about. They're going to see you in a crown. Mane and tail, bitches. I love you so much. Mane and tail. In the best way I say that. That's very colloquial. So please do not be offended. Okay? What I will tell you. If I call you a bee, <laughs> it means I love you. Okay? What I will tell you here is this. The dolphin energy is about playing. It's about balance. And you know what I'm seeing here? Honestly, there's a lesson of Aquarian energy and fiery lion energy. This is our polar opposite on the other end of our north node is our south node. And it's usually in Aquarius, right? This is a lesson we learned in the last lifetime was group play and activity and all that stuff. This is a lesson with this Akashic record moving into that we're learning. Yes, you did that. You were more of a humanitarian in your past lives. The past lessons in, in the rest of your life were about giving and being kind. But when you step into that energy, they have to understand and you have to understand of yourself that you do have responsibilities and you're regal and you're proud look at us ladies look at us gentlemen look at us standing in the skin god put us in look at us with our manes look at us with our tails the stories we tell the stories that are true the stories that enlighten the things about you leo this year you're writing a new story what I'm hearing as I'm looking at the card, as I've put it down, I'm hearing it so clearly. This is the beginning of a dynasty. You should be thinking of ways to be nice to me. See that energy right there, that cockiness, my cockiness, Rihanna, I'm hearing it. She is a Pisces, not a Leo, but still. That is all of us. That's our Sasha Fierce, whatever your alter ego is. You should see me in a crown. Leo, there have been a lot of you guys that have given a lot of love and energy away to people. And they've maybe not understood that behind all of your frivolity and kindness was this. Katy Perry, they're going to hear you roar. But you do it with grace and dignity. We are not vicious Leos. We are cheerleaders. We are teachers. We are educators. Step into your power, my loves. You have no choice. Actually, if you are watching this video and if you're still here, your crown 
is waiting. It's already assigned. This is the thing you're unlocking. You are the person coming to save you. And then you'll save them if you want to. Because someone that wears a crown is busy and has things to do. I don't know why they got so intense with you, Leo, but my angels were just like, let them know that even though it's you too, boo, they're going to see you in a crown. Guys, come back and join me next time. Go check out that Akashic Record video if you have not. Also, I want to let you know that I'll be giving away uh, a free reading. Um, five free readings. Five 30-minute free readings when I hit 5,000 subscribers. Uh, I also have the comment of the month, which will qualify for a 10-minute free reading. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment below. The comment that moves my soul, <laughs> or maybe gets the most likes, you know, it's all fair and love and war, um, will be the person that is selected. I've already selected a person and have a reading scheduled on Monday for someone that touched my heart and blew open my chakras in January. I love you guys so much. Uh, shine up your crown, my loves. It's your time. It's go time. This is not a drill. And we will continue to evolve together. <laughs>